Hey there folks, welcome back to Let's Play Mega Man 2. I'm Mysterious JG, and I think I vaguely intended to take on Air Man next, so let's take on Air Man next. Air Man is weak against Woodman, and he's the only boss remaining that I had any qualms about fighting without their weakness. He would be an example of a, um, a, a uh, scenario where the stage is probably easier than the boss that comes at the end. That is not always how these games work. Although, honestly, I've never been that good against most of the Robot Masters without using their weakness. I, subscri I would definitely subscribe to the theory that they are the boss, that Sasha Banks, that they are meant to be the most challenging thing. Okay, yeah, that wasn't good. I didn't... I didn't mean to be in the tank... Oh, I, I forgot I only had the one, one life anyway. One life to live. Uh, yeah, I don't want to get... You, you need to be... Uh, in the Airman stage, the platforms are pretty tiny. And, um... I don't want to be in the... Uh, just tank the damage and uh, stay on the platform mode. Because a lot of the time, you're going to get knocked off the platform. But you can get any mode where you just let the... Uh, little horn things hit you and make sure that you're on the right side of them that you get knocked in the right direction. That was close. Now this part can be challenging. The platforms move in a set pattern, which makes it way easier than the similar sequence in um, Iceman stage, where sometimes they just are not even moving vaguely in a way that lets you... Uh, do anything. Metal, Metal Man's weapon. I'm thinking more strategically than I did as a kid. Uh, I would have, like, tried to find ways to do this with a Mega Buster and been worried about wasting ammo on the weapons where I don't have infinite ammo, but Metal Man and Quick Man have uh, weapons where you can get quite a few shots off and be quite useful. Speaking of, why would I not be... Well, I'll use Quick Man weapon for this, but... When I was a kid, I was always paranoid that in those clouds, they would hide, uh, death drops. Now that was me forgetting about a nasty little trick that they like to pull on you, which is... ...having them, um... ...drop eggs from places that you couldn't, uh, get to. Or you couldn't see them. Oh, just... ...get out of here. You fall- you run off to the... ...edge of the screen and find, um... ...the... Hold the fall down to. Now, in Wily's stage, I wouldn't put it past them to hide a uh, death drop somewhere. But in the Airman stage, you're pretty much going to be able to see if. Uh, ah, damn it! If um, walking straight across what appears to be an okay platform is going to lead you to your death, they'll usually you'll usually be able to tell. So there's a little bit of a trick to this if you are really good you can get the timing so that the horns are in sync. I wasn't quite there this time. Matter of fact, I did it the worst possible way, but the one I need to jump to is a little head. Which makes it not necessary, but wise to tank a little damage and uh, deal with it when you have invincibility frames. Coming up ahead are little sort of mini airmen guys. We'll have some enemies that have fans where they blow you back and you have to run forward while shooting to destroy them. This is vaguely interesting. There's a lot of enemy types in this game where they only pop up in one screen. And it's like, it seems like they could have gotten a lot more use out of these guys. Put them in different places. And the egg... the egg ro the... Damn it! Not doing very well here. I usually don't have quite this much trouble with the stage, but um, no, it's 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 a stage that's very much about knocking you off the platform to your death. There's nothing, not a lot of like you die from taking too much hit points damage in the Airman stage. And it really feels like you should be able to um, destroy these guys by somehow hitting that glowing spot between the eyes. 
Damn it. Damn it, damn it, damn it. I'm not achieving much success right now. Now this is a great enemy for respawning, because you keep getting knocked back just far enough for to respawn. Yeah, and they're gonna frickin' try to kill you with the... Uh, those... Little robo-chickens spawning at the wrong... Robot chicken? The popular television series. That's right, you... you you finished. No more spawning for you. Ah, uh, damn it, I'm on my last one. I was gonna, like, make some effort to beat him without what Woodman weapon, but... You'll see in a minute, his pattern is just a pain in the butt. Because he shoots these these things that block your shots anyway. And then you get blown back. So it's really difficult to avoid getting hit. Although I'm not doing that bad here. Well, he was the guy I was most worried about not being able to beat without his weakness. But, oh, there you go. I think I over... I over... Like, I somehow my memory inflated how much damage each shot is and how... just tanking them would not work. And, no, you kind of can. Because um, what I always used to do is just, like, dodge them, wait for him to jump over to the left and stay all the way to the left, and then start jamming the wood, man, a wood shield. Because the wood shield just makes a shield of leaves float around Mega Man. It does a lot of damage. To Air Man, at least. So we now have item 2. You really are meant to defeat Air Man before you beat Heat Man, because item 2 makes his stage a lot easier. And I'll have to remember in the next video to showcase uh, Woodman's weapon, because I just didn't think to do it here at all. And uh, also item 2. So we will do that in the next stage, which I guess will be Bubble Man, because uh, at least for Bobo and me, Flash Man always seemed to be the easiest one to beat. So as long as I'm doing things in kooky sequence break order, I might as well save Flash Man for last man. Um, so I'll show off the wood shield, even though I don't think it's that useful. Uh, and I'll show you why it's not that useful in the next video. And also show off item two. It's not that useful in Bubble Man's stage, but you'll see how it would be useful in a lot of other stages. That's all to come next time on Mega Man 2. I'm the Series JG. Thanks for watching. I'll see you then. Bye-bye.